In this video, we're going to see an example of a redox titration. Uh, we've already seen uh, titrations in the context of acid-base reactions. And essentially, a titration is a way to quantify an analyte in a solution. Okay, remember that uh, the idea was to have uh, an analyte. Uh, you have a volume here, uh, whatever this is, but you don't know what the concentration or the number of moles is. Right, so the idea is that you're going to make it react uh, with something of a known concentration, which is going to be in a red. All right, so the concentration of this is well known. You prepare this, and you can measure the volume, which is going to give you uh, the number of moles, and then if you know what the reaction is, okay, then you can quantify what the concentration of the analyte is. And again, we have seen this in the context of acid-base reactions. Now, uh, using redox uh, reactions, what happens is that once you reach the stoichiometric point, the equivalent point between uh, the two reagents, what happens is that there's a rapid change in the oxidation states. And generally what happens uh, for many substances is that uh, when the oxidation state changes, the color also changes, right? So uh, notice that uh, the way to identify the stoichiometric point in acid-base reactions was using a color change in an indicator. In this case, generally you don't need an indicator at all. It turns out that once the uh, oxidation numbers change, uh, it's quite likely that uh, the color of the substance in solution is also going to change, and then you can identify quite uh, cleanly what the stoichiometric point is. All right, so our uh, example is going to be as follows. We have 25 mils of uh, a solution of a known concentration of uh, iron 2 sulfate. Okay, and then we're going to try to titrate this with uh, potassium permanganate, okay, and we actually know what the concentration of this potassium permanganate is, is going to be uh, 0 0.02 molar. Okay, so we start to uh, drop uh, potassium permanganate uh, into the uh, iron sulfate, and eventually you get to the stoichiometric point, there's a change in, uh, in color right here, you stop it and then you realize that you have added exactly 50 mils of this potassium permanganate uh, solution. And the question then is, well, what is the concentration of my uh, iron 2 uh, sulfate uh, concentration that I have there in solution? All right, so the first thing to do here is identify what the reaction is. Okay, and the reaction is going to be uh, the reaction of uh, iron uh, sulfate, iron 2 sulfate, with potassium permanganate. We actually have seen, have seen this reaction before. Okay, but if you don't remember, uh, that's an iron 2 that turns into iron 3. And this is uh, the permanganate turns into uh, manganese 2. Okay, so that is the reaction. And of course, there has to be some potassium and sulfate uh, ions right there. But notice that the redox pairs are going to be iron 2 plus to 3 plus. Okay, that is the oxidation uh, uh, species. And then manganese goes from plus 7. 2 plus 2, so that is the read, the reduction uh, pair. Reduction, and then this will be oxidation. Now notice that sulfate and, and potassium do not undergo any changes, so we can actually eliminate them here. They are not relevant to the redox reaction. Okay, so what we will be balancing here is simply the uh, net ionic equation. All right, so let's uh, do this uh, balancing, the oxidation uh, uh, we have, have reaction is going to be iron 2 to iron 3. Okay, this reaction is very simple to balance. That is how you balance, and then the redox, uh, the reduction, half reaction is going to be permanganate, MnO4 minus to generate uh, manganese 2. All right, we need uh, four water molecules in products to balance the oxygen. And then we need eight protons here in reagents to balance the hydrogens. And then to balance the charge, we have here plus two, we have here plus seven, we need five electrons. Okay, so those are the half reactions. Notice that here we have five electrons that we need to cancel with those electrons right there. So all these will be uh, multiplied by a factor of five. Then my total uh, reaction is going to be five uh, iron two plus ions reacting with uh, permanganate plus uh, eight protons to generate a uh, five iron three plus with uh, manganese and then four waters. 
Okay, so now we're ready to uh, try to do the titration. Okay, and again, the titration is we actually know what the volume and molar concentration of that um, uh, uh, solution is. Okay, that means that we can know the number of moles of this permanganate. And then using the stoichiometric relationship, we can then calculate what the moles of iron 2 is going, are going to be. And then because we know the volume, if we know the moles and the volume, then we can calculate what the molar concentration of that solution was. And then that's the answer to the problem. Right, so let's then uh, set up here uh, the stoichiometric calculations. All right. Again, the stoichiometric bridge is going to be moles of permanganate, two moles of iron. Okay, so let's uh, first calculate the moles of permanganate. I have uh, the molar concentration, which is 0 0.0200 mole of permanganate per liter, multiplied by the volume, which is 0 0.05000 liters. That is going to give me the number of moles of permanganate. Okay, liters go away with liters. And again, the resultant uh, uh, number out of this calculation will be the moles of permanganate. Now I cross the stoichiometric bridge, right? I have that uh, for every five moles of iron 2 plus, uh, those react with just one mole of permanganate. Okay? And that is the stoichiometric bridge, and that allows me to cross from permanganate to iron 2. All right, so I have the moles of iron 2 because I know the volume of the iron 2 solution, then I can calculate the molar concentration directly. Okay, if I divide this by the volume, 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.25,00 liters, uh, that is going to be mole per liter of iron 2, and that will be the molar concentration. In this case, when you type this in the calculator, you find a molar concentration of 0 0.200 uh, molar of your iron 2 plus, which is iron sulfate. Okay, so this has been an example of how you can actually uh, use uh, redox uh, chemistry to titrate uh, redox species.